Hey guys, Diesel back in the Nerd Cave with my July 2022 pickups video. Pretty decent haul this month. A um, bunch of different sales. Uh, we had the Severin sale, um, the Kino um, sale, which I actually didn't pick anything up from the Kino sale. Um, I had a bunch in the cart, but I never pulled the trigger on it, so don't have that. Um, of course, we have the Criterion sale and prime day so a couple things from there and some other pickups as well before i get started just wanted to um just say how excited i am for the 35th anniversary editions of the lost boy and for lost boys in 4k um that are coming out um that is probably my favorite movie um of all time favorite horror movie favorite movie in general um favorite vampire movie just love that movie i remember it came out um, in 1987, I was too young to see it. I remember my cousin going to see it, and I was like super jealous about it. And that's as a seven-year-old remembering that. I used to watch, back when pay-per-view was a thing, there was a designated pay-per-view channel. If you wanted the movie, you'd have to call like a number, and they would, and then you can watch it on, the, on that pay-per-view channel. Um, and they would just replay the same preview over and over again. And they kept replaying um, the Lost Boys trailer, um, and I just loved it. I would just sit there for what seemed like forever, just watching in repeat that. So I finally um, watched it for the first time on TV. Uh, I still have that um, that that VHS that taped off of regular TV. I think it was like CBS. <laughs> um, and then just my obsession grew since then. So I have multiple copies, triple dipped, quadruple dipped, um, almost every format. Love that movie. So super excited. Yesterday was July 31st, which is a 35th anniversary edition. Um, I wanted to post something, never did, um, just because we just were just super busy and we just had a lot of people um, over and we just came back from vacation. Let me see if I can show you my latest. Hold on a second. Okay, here's my latest pickup. Got this on eBay. It's the Lost Boys Blu-ray uh, Steelbook. Just love this. Love this movie. I have it on. I have so many different copies on Blu-ray, on VHS, on DVD. I'm getting. I think another. I think it's a Steelbook. It's like a UK version. It's got like a vampire in front of it. Like a nondescript vampire, um, but I didn't care. It was pretty cheap, so it could be a slipcover, could be a steel book. Not sure. Uh, that's coming in. Um, I just made an offer um, on a, and I just want to not a bid, but I, I just paid for a beta copy. <laughs> so literally in every format, I have the I have a poster, I have a laser disc, I have it all. So I just absolutely love this movie. Super excited for the 4K to come out. Um. I like them. I, I I like the way they look. I like the way the steel book looks with Michael and the glasses. I like that. I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people complaining about the artwork. Um, not crazy about the 4K standard slip. Um, I mean, I I think the artwork's kind of cool, but they should have just had another edition with just the classic poster artwork. I think for the 4K slip, you know, maybe have a. A, another edition exclusive edition out there with that other artwork that would have been nice um, but of course it doesn't matter i triple dipped and i i have the 4k standard pre-ordered i have the the best buy exclusive steelbook pre-ordered i have the zavi exclusive pre-ordered zavi has two different exclusives um they have um the 4k slip exclusive and they also have the steelbook exclusive so i went ahead and i pre-ordered the steelbook exclusive just absolutely love this movie i will own it on every format that there is um as many times as i have to buy this movie so um that being said make sure to pre-order everything's up for pre-order right now um on amazon zavi wherever you want to order it best buy um it's up for pre-order so anyway just super excited 35 years, it seems crazy um, that this movie has been out so long. I absolutely love the soundtrack. I watch the sound, I listen to the soundtrack um, all the time. So, I mean, here's the soundtrack. I have it signed. I listen to this all the time. Absolutely love it. There is even like a musical 
or something. I don't know. I got this signed and picked this up at a Monster Mania convention. Just absolutely love this film. Can't speak of it enough. So definitely jump on that pre-order if you can. All right, so enough of that. Let's jump into my pickups. First one up is the completion of my birthday gifts. Um, I mentioned it during my uh, my birthday pickups video, so I'll leave a link in the description below for that one. And it's the 4K Blue Underground release of Uncle Sam. It's a really cool lenticular cover. Love these. Next is a pickup I got from eBay. I've had this on my um, wish list forever um, on eBay. This is a Eureka release, uh, Region B. I have a region free player, so that works out. I thought this was going to come in like a slot, a side slip, and it didn't. So I may have just missed out on it. But it's the uh, the Troll Collection. Comes with the two uh, films plus the uh, documentary, which I have not yet seen. So, excited for that, even if it didn't come with the slip, it's okay. Okay, so let's jump into Best Buy. First up is a Lionsgate release, uh, Steelbook. Uh, they're killing it again. Now, I've never seen this film. In fact, I forgot that I pre-ordered this film. So, this that happens on occasion, where something will randomly come in from Best Buy um, that I don't remember pre-ordering. And it's uh, Angel Heart with Mickey Rourke, Robert De Niro, Lisa Bonet know a little bit about this film. I've never seen it, but I've, I've seen videos about it. And again, it's a Studio Canal Lion's Gate release. A little bit about the film, if you can see that. Some of the special features. Next one up is another Best Buy. Um, it's not a Best Buy exclusive. This is just, uh, you can get this anywhere, but I picked it up from Best Buy. And it's the next in a collection that I'm glad every day that um, I didn't pick this up when it first came out. Um, there was an original Steelbook collection that was just terrible, Best Buy collection. So I, I think many of you know what I'm talking about already. And now they've re-released these individually. A lot of people can, well, well, I'll just show it to you. So of course, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. A lot of people are complaining about, the, not this particular, but just how these studios are doing this. You know, they're releasing a, a, a particular edition, waiting about a year, and then releasing them either individually or in a different type of artwork. Um, you know, maybe they came out with the Blu-ray, but now it's a 4K. They come up with the Steelbook, and then a couple months later, it's, it's the slip. They don't do it all at once. You know, so people, you know, I was very close to buying the Steelbook editions of these, but I just, I hated them so much that I almost went ahead and bought the, um, the, the regular 4K release. And I wasn't crazy about that either. So I was, I was eventually going to do it. And then I was like, you know, what? I know they're making a, a fifth movie. Maybe I'll just wait until then. Um, but thankfully, for some reason, they came out with these individual 4K releases with the uh, artwork that I love. And this is actually my favorite one, Temple of Doom. Um, I know it's not many people's favorites, um, but this is the one I watched most as a kid. This is an upgrade to my VHS copy that I taped off of HBO, so I don't have it in front of me now, but um, absolutely love this film and the entire series. Um, the Last Cru Crusade I have pre-ordered on Best Buy, and I believe um, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is now up for pre-order. So I'd go ahead and do that if you want to. Um, they are available now for pre-order. Next one up is the next in the Marvel Cinematic Universe line. Um, I enjoyed this movie. Um, I enjoyed it better than Thor Love and Thunder that I just saw. And it's uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Don't mind the Steelbook. Liked it better than the the you know original kind of 4K artwork, so I picked this one up. Not very consistent when it comes to the Marvel movies. What I have in 4K, I mean, yeah, well, I guess some of them I have in Blu-ray, most of them in 4K. Some with just the slip, some with steel books. I'm not very consistent, but not too bad. Thor: Love and Thunder was not bad, but it was way too cheesy. What, what made Ragnarok good made this one bad, if that makes any sense. All I have to say is the God of Dumplings, and you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen it. D crazy. All right, now let's jump into... Um, where is this? 
This is Amazon. Let's jump into Amazon. First one up, the Untouchables on 4K. Really love this artwork on the slip. Liked it way better than the Steelbook. Uh, there's a Steelbook version of this that is not exclusive to anywhere. Um, had the opportunity to pick that up a few times, but I went ahead with the um, with the slip edition. I, I think it's just really nice artwork. Next up, next up is a 4K, um, not 4K, I'm sorry, a Kino release, Ants. It happened at Lakewood Manor. This, I believe, is a TV movie with Suzanne Summers. A little bit about the film. Some of the special features. They also recently came out with Tarantula and another one about bees. I think it's called It Came From the Sky. You know, again, I, I buy these and then I complain when it goes on the sale immediately. So I may wait. I may wait on the other two until the next Kino sale to see if it's available then. Okay, so next up um, are my Prime Day pickups. I'll leave a link in the description below to that video. Uh, first one up is Casino. This is like seven bucks on 4K. Kind of wish it came with the slipcover, but it didn't. That's all right. And this is an upgrade. I have it somewhere. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Well, here's a 4K. I don't know if I showed the back yet, but I will. Kind of bummed, like I said, that it didn't have the slip cover, but I waited a really long time to pick this up. It is an upgrade to my Blu-ray. This is clearly an older Blu-ray. Um, the perfect high-def experience. So definitely an older Blu-ray. Just... Did I never open this? Huh. Plastic's off, but this is still on. Cool. Anyway, this is going to eBay. Great movie. Next one up is Batman Forever. This is like 4K. It was like 12 bucks, I think. Um, I don't have this in any other format, believe it or not. Um, this is right before the series turned to shit. Um, I mean, many say this is terrible. I love this one. Um, not as much as the um, Tim Burton ones, um, but I do enjoy it. This is uh, Jim Carrey at his height. You know, Jimmy's favorite movie, uh, Batman movie at least. So, got to pick this up. And last one up for the Prime Day pickups is the Bourne Collection. Now, this is the older collection set. I didn't realize that. But it does come with the individual um, Amorays, which I actually enjoy better. <laughs> I think I like that better. I haven't seen any of those films, so for 20 bucks, whatever it was, it was definitely worth it. Next up are uh, my pickups from the Criterion sale. I'll leave a link in the description below to that video, so I'll just quickly go through these. First one up, Citizen Kane. Pink Flamingos. Really nice slipcover on that one. Double Indemnity. I should try to pick up some classic films during the sale. Blowout. Now, I know this is coming out on 4K, but I'm fine with the, with the Blu-ray on this one. Another Scorsese film. The Last Temptation of Christ. Punch Drunk Love, and Shaft. Okay, so finally are my Severin Sale pickups. Um, again, I will leave a link in the description below um, to that pickup video. I'll quickly go through these. First one up, Blackenstein. I've always been tempted to pick this one up. Um, finally went ahead and did it. I mean, that's such a great cover. <laughs> Next one up, Nosferatu in Venice. Grizzly. Day of the Animals. I didn't get too much from the sale. Um, I like Severin. Um, it's not, 
you know, my go-to uh, boutique label, uh, but I definitely jump on the sales and always try to get some releases when I see them at conventions. And finally, well, no, sorry, not finally, one more after this. Cannibal Man, glad it came with the slip, really cool cover. And finally, um, a box set, really nice box set, and it was a really good price. It's the Eurocrypt of Christopher Lee collection. This is volume one. Volume two was, I believe, released during the sale. So, and that is that. All right, guys, so here are my pickups from July 2022. Let me know in the comments below what did you pick up during any of these sales? Um, what did you pick up during the month of July? And of course, don't forget about the Lost Boys. Um, 35th anniversary was yesterday. Um, again, just absolutely love this film. Go pre order. Um, support physical media. Go pre order. Um, a Triple dip. Do what I did. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, see you guys in the Nerd Cave.